Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, hmm, today is a very different type of video. There has been some controversy that has been circling around and I just am confused actually. I'm not confused, but it's kind of weird how this came into my like reality. So let's go ahead and just get started with the facts. Diva Curl is a brand that is very, very well known around like the curly hair community, the natural hair community. It's known to people who don't even have curly hair. A lot of people know a lot about Diva Curl. It's one of the biggest um, natural hair brands. So basically what has been going around is some intense claims, claiming that Diva Curl is actually their products are actually causing hair loss to a lot of people. And not only are they ca causing hair loss, but they're also causing people's um, actual texture to change. There's actually a lawsuit that is being built upon all these claims. There's a petition that can be signed if you've ever suffered from any um, hair loss or any like accusations that you may have against Diva Curl. Like people are going at them hard. There's even an entire Facebook page geared towards Diva Curl and basically people saying how horrible their hair has felt after years and years of continuous use of using Diva Curl. People who have been following my channel for a while, um, you're probably like, why is she speaking about this? I don't ever see her review Diva Curl products on her page. Why does this even matter to you? You don't use Diva Curl that much. Well, the reason why I am concerned is because I'm on Diva Curl's PR list. I'm on a lot of brands PR list. You guys don't really know about it because I'm not a I'm not one of those influencers or YouTubers who put every single brand on my page. Um, and I don't I don't actually um, jump to every single brand that reaches out to me. I don't care if they say they're gonna pay me or not. I stick to really strict, you guys already know this, that who follow me, I stick to really strict like morals and you can't buy me basically. So I say all that to say that I get a lot of stuff in the mail and I'm on Diva Curl's PR list. Well recently my friend um, texted me and she said, you know, you used to do reviews on your page, why don't you start doing reviews again? So I was like, you know what, I do need to start like doing more reviews on my page, I'll go back to doing that. So I thought, what am I going to review? What do I need to review um, that I feel that would help like my subscribers? And of course I have my, my brand, but I wanted to do something like a different brand. So I went through all the products that I have and Diva Curl has sent me a lot of products. So I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna do a comparison video with the Diva Girl product, Diva Curl products. And I have the two products that I was going to do right here. So we have the styling cream and we have the light defining gel. I was going to do a video comparing these two to let you guys know which one uh, you should buy. So this one has not been used. And the light defining gel is one that, um, I haven't used this one, but I actually use the light defining gel um, occasionally. So this is actually one of my favorite Diva Curl products. And I was going to do a video showing you guys the difference between the two. So that was my ideal, and that was what I was going to do. But suddenly after I figured that I was gonna do that, I started to get unmotivated to do the review. And I always do, I always try to do stuff well, I feel better doing things when I'm motivated to do it or motivated to talk about it. So my lack of motivation to do the review after I was all excited and I tried to figure out if I was gonna do it, made me not want to do it, basically. So a few few weeks went past and I noticed that this um, girl I follow on Instagram posted a video on her Instagram talking about how she's had recent hair loss and she is one of Diva Curl's um, influencers, one of their one of their uh, PR persons that they go to. She goes to a lot of Diva Curl's events and stuff like that. So I was like, okay. So she said that she had to cut her hair and um, I didn't really look, look at her video in depth because it was on Instagram and I don't really, I don't really pay attention to videos on Instagram as much as I do on YouTube. So I've seen in her comments like how you can like scroll down and you'll st start seeing like comments. I've seen in her comments somebody say that you're probably getting hair loss due to the fact that you're always using Diva Curl products. And instead of normally like when people see those, uh, write those common comments, like influencers would not respond to it unless they have 
unless they feel that that is true. And I've seen that she responded to it and that's what made catch my attention. So a few days went pa past again, like a day or two, and I seen another comment from somebody saying that Diva Curl was causing people to have hair loss. So at this point, I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm definitely not doing this review until I figure out what is going on. So I go to YouTube and I type in Diva Curl. That's all I typed in. Three or four videos popped up of people saying that they're receiving hair loss. One of their biggest influencers that um, does like their influencing for them or do, does like their PR for them said that she she has a video saying that she has been using Diva Curl since the beginning, even before she started to like work with them, even before she started to go to their events. And she has consistently used Diva Curl for, for a very long time. And she had made a video about how her hair is starting to like basically like fall out texture starting to change and i will link the video down in the description box because out of all the videos i found that hers was um the most interesting and it had like receipts to prove um what she was saying what made this come up like what made all these pages get created through like people trying to sue them like what happened and i'm not doing anything with them yeah like i don't want to be rude but Honestly, I don't want to receive anything else from them because now I have a lot of products from them and I can't really, and these have not been used. Like, as you guys can see, this still has the tape on it from when it um, was sent to me. And these were sent to me months and months ago. Tape on it. This hasn't been used. This isn't used. You guys know that I don't use these type of products all the time. These are not, like, products that are not supernatural, I don't use consistently. Because I know that with consistent use of anything, you're going to um, see the re the reflection of that in your, in your life, in your hair. You're gonna see reflection of that. So, because when I look at Diva Curl, no matter what product it is, so we have the, um, the one that they're going hard against is the Diva Curl No Poo. This is the one that people are really going hard against. So, when I look at Diva Curl's um, ingredients, off the bat, I would not, this would not be something that I would use consistently. And that has been my thoughts from the beginning before this even came out. You guys already know I'm a holistic health coach. I've, I live like my daily life based on like natural, natural ingredients and stuff. So when something is this far from natural, I don't care what this says, I think people need to get away from looking at this and start going back to the ingredients this comes this goes for food as well I don't care what this says when I look at these ingredients and I see these ingredients I this is not something that I'm going to be putting in my hair every single day because I can't even pronounce half of the words that are on here and I barely even see anything that's a natural ingredient I first want you guys to like comment down below and let me know have you had issues with diva curl because like i said if that's what's going on i'm not going to put their products on my page as far as like reviewing them what was your experience with diva curl and yeah like i really do want to know because i feel that if it's if a company this big is like causing hair loss to thousands and thousands of people that's a problem and this this is really big because of how many people are like back in this it's not like one influencer saying it it's like many 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 pages and people backing these claims and i'm just like of course i don't i can't tell you guys that i've experienced that because i don't use their products enough to let you guys know something like that i would say it's super important to look at your ingredient list and um once you see the ingredient list you determine how frequently you're going to put this to use on your hair or if you're not going to use it at all if you look at an ingredient list and the chemicals outweigh the natural products i don't care what this company is saying that they're about their ingredients is not really matching what they're saying you have to pay attention to that you have to look look past all the marketing look past all the influences that they're able to put on their um pr list look past all of that and just look at the ingredients and if those ingredients match what that company says then now those two um go together and you can pretty much trust that companies so. i mentioned this on my channel before but for those of you who are not really like good at looking at ingredients and knowing what's good and what's not you can use the think dirty app i actually did a video on um the think dirty app 
and a lot of people in the comments were saying oh this is boring why do you always like try to think about ingredients like it's not that serious like i got a lot of harsh criticism for doing that video i almost took it down um but now i think i like that i did did that because sometimes being like the oddball out or being like the person who kind of thinks a little bit different from others actually pays in the end i also think we need to know the difference between passion and money grabs so there's a difference i know that a lot of times companies start out with a best intention and then as the money come in they start to lose their intentions that they came in with um and that's where products start to go from like oh these are really good products and they start to go very much down because that company has now like lost the passion and most of the time it's a lot about like how quickly can we get these products out how quickly can we get these you know like it's just everything goes like out and then money becomes the the forefront i'm not saying that's what diva, happened with diva curl but i'm just saying that's what i see with a lot of companies um or some companies just put out a bunch of stuff that their products do and they don't really do that. And it's up to that buyer to help hold them accountable. But I've just come to realize that companies that have like passion behind their business normally, or like that owner really does have a passion behind the business or the CEO really has a passion behind the business. Normally that company is the one that has like longevity. I don't know if that was very much left field, but I just wanted to like let you guys know that you have to kind of like pay attention to, pay attention to who, you're, who you are buying from. <sighs> so last thing I wanted to mention in this video is to switch up your routines. Um, if you have been using Diva Curl and you don't notice anything and you're like, I don't know what they're talking about, I use Diva curl and i'm fine that's great but don't be all in with anything switch up your routines your hair also gets used to things so actually switching up your routine is better than people would imagine like i know that you have that product that just works so well um but most of the time you want to switch it up like just try to change things around especially if your hair is kind of like not responding i want to mention some brands that i actually do love and stand by and they are very clean products i'm only going to mention a couple because I don't want to make this video too long. So the first one is called The Innate Life. And this brand um, is super clean. They don't use anything that is harsh in their products. So I absolutely love The Innate Life's products. They are expensive. Um, most of the products I'm mentioning is expensive except for a few. Um, so if you want to get like quality stuff most of the time you're gonna have to pay for it because it takes a lot of money to actually create that product i like that she uses organic ingredients in her products and she also like takes her time with creating them so the innate life i wanted to pick a more mainstream um company for the ones that are not able to like go online so that would definitely be shea moisture shea moisture um, when it comes to their older lines, I'm not going to speak for any other new lines, but when it comes to like their raw shea butter line, coconut line, those products were very clean and they don't have a lot of chemicals in them. Like I said, I'm only speaking for Shea Moisture's older lines. Of course, I'm going to put my products in here. So these are the Nourish by Shantae products. Um, and I definitely take my time with creating the recipes. Definitely have a say in everything that goes into my products and how everything is made. Yeah, Nourish by Shantae for the win. I wanted to mention Alafia. I don't have it right here, but it's in my bathroom. Alafia products are really good and they also use very clean products. They have like a score two or one on Think30 app. I wanna mention the last company that I do recommend and that is Living Libations. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Okay guys, so like I said, leave your comments down below because I want to know like, have you guys had the same experience? And I wanna know for somebody who has been using Diva Curl for a while, you guys know that I do not do trend videos. Yeah, you know that if I put this on my channel, it's for a reason. And I am genuinely um, trying to figure this out and concerned. So like I said, go ahead and comment down below. Hope you guys liked this video and it wasn't too much all over the place because that's how I feel right now. I'm like, are you serious? What is going on? So let me know down in the comment section. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.